Hey everyone, we're back here with the X-Wing Starfighter from Air Hogs. Now my first video was inside of a park with a lot of trees and didn't fly that great in a small space. It's just too difficult to turn, too difficult to avoid the trees, so I felt like I didn't give you guys a good idea of how this thing flies. And the two big questions really are, one, is it flyable? And two, is it worth it? So number one, is it flyable? Definitely is flyable. You need a nice big open space and you need a little practice at it because I haven't seen a video yet where anyone just took this thing out of the box and flew it well the first time. Everybody struggles with it. Even the guys at flight test were putting it into the ground first few flights and you have to just accept that but don't give up. So you know keep at it. You're gonna crash it a bunch but keep at it. Don't give up. You'll get it after a little while and really it's not that hard to fly. You need to be light on the throttle when you launch it. You need to be light on the aileron sticks when you turn it and Flight Test has some nice tips for that. You can kind of pulse the sticks or give real light inputs. That's really the key to it. If it starts turning too much, catch it before it does that and get it corrected. But other than that, it's actually a very flyable little airplane or starfighter. So the second question is, is it worth it? And after I show you the flight, I'll try to answer that question.
Out of gas. All right, guys, there is some flying of the Air Hogs X-Wing Starfighter. Flies pretty decent, flew it for a long time, and that was basically a full pack start to finish, so you can get an idea of how long this thing will fly. Hope you weren't too bored with it, because I was flying kind of high for a while. Just pretty much kept it full throttle, except when I wanted to bring it down from altitude, then cut the throttle a little bit. Light pulses on the aileron stick just to turn it. If it was drifting, just a light pulse to correct it. You don't want to get this thing turning too sharp or it will stall and drop out of the sky. So keep an eye on how it's turning. You know, so you do have to pay attention to it, but it is very flyable. It is easy to fly. It's very gentle. If you think that you're going to get this thing and be zooming across the field like an X-Wing, you know, at full speed, not the case. It's a very slow, easy flyer, but it does fly. So the second question is, is it worth it? Really depends how big a Star Wars fan you are. Uh, I'm a Star Wars fan. I grew up with the movies, I'm going to see The Force Awakens, but I don't have posters or collectibles, things like that. So I'm not like a diehard Star Wars fan. But this thing is pretty cool, it looks cool in the air. $60 or more, I think it's a little expensive for what it is. Being a very standoff scale X-Wing and for the way it flies, 60 bucks or more, you're definitely paying a premium for the Star Wars factor. So it really depends how big a Star Wars fan you are paying that much money. If you're a huge fan, you really want it, maybe you're going to collect it, leave it in the box. 60 bucks or more, you may be willing to pay. 45 to 60 bucks is kind of a gray area to me. Still paying a Star Wars premium, I think, but, you know, that may be more in the range of what it's worth. You know, these days with there being a Star Wars premium, let's face it, we're going to pay that on all these products. I think this thing, really the way it flies, is worth about 30 to 45 bucks. And if you can get it for that, that's a pretty good deal. And maybe we'll see that price range once all the Star Wars hysteria wears off. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This has just been a quick re-video of the Airhogs X-Wing Starfighter. Hope you enjoyed it. Any questions or comments, post below. See you next time.